Hello, and today I'll be showing you how to start up the UH1H Huey. This is how I've been shown how to start up the Huey, so if you have any improvements that you need made, please put in the comments below. So we first start with the battery switch, which is just over here on the left, and then we hear that the RPM is too low, so we go down here to the center panel next to this red, this yellow switch. There should be a another switch will turn that warning off, so we can hear, and then we go up to back up to the top panel where the battery was and just behind the battery there's another panel for the generator. Turn that on and then we'll turn the inverter on. You can see the sound now so now our electronics are going to function and depending on what flight you're going on this is a civilian helicopter so I'm going to be clicking all of these but these are all the anti-collision and position lights on this panel here. Here, if it's night time, you can turn on the lights for all the panels. And now, to actually start the helicopter, we're going to go down to this bottom panel here. We're going to turn on the force trim and the hydraulic control. And we're going to turn on the IFF, which is here. So we right click that once. Sorry, left click it once. And then we want to engage the engine governor, the fuel, and what we want to do, if we're doing a cold start, we want to hold page up until the throttle goes to full, then hold page down until the throttle goes to closed. If you have a different assi assigned to this, you can use that, or if you don't, if you haven't, if this doesn't work, page up and page down, then you can actually click on the throttle and move it up and down manually. If you're going on a combat flight, you'll be wanting to engage this with a right click and this with a right click that arms your weapons to safe here and this arms your flares now we want to actually start up the aircraft and before we do so we'll close the doors with a right control C and then to begin starting up the aircraft we hold home and this will as you can hear the starter motor is going and in a couple of seconds the blades will begin to turn. Now we're waiting for the we're waiting for the RPM to get around 30 30 percent RPM and then uh, we're going to engage some throttle. So currently the throttle is at idle and once the uh, blades spin up fast enough the, we can let go of the uh, home button or the starter switch, which I've done now, and the blades will remain at idle. Now, if we want to go to full throttle, we hold page up until it goes to full throttle, which is marked by the green here. And when it's in between the green values, we're good to go. And then, one last thing. I want to turn on the generator, the second generator switch here. It's very key that you make sure this switch is off when you're starting up, otherwise your starter motor won't work. It's the right hand switch of the battery needs to be off, otherwise the starter motor won't work. And then when you're ready, you can taxi to the runway and take off. Thanks for watching. If this was any help, please leave a like or a comment and uh, stay tuned for another video.